Okay, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a guide on how to make the best Paladin build, and how I made my build. If you haven't seen my last video of my Brawler guide, then please feel free to check it out for yourselves. I can say I have a pretty good understanding of the Paladin class with my 38 hours of gameplay. Now, here we have timestamps. We're going to be going over races, equipment, stats, and accessories, mastery, and build in action. Without further ado, let's begin this video. Okay, for races, I would recommend Lentum, Damios, Coverless, and Dillahan. Now with Lentum, we have Mucilage and Slimy Shield. Now what Slimy Shield does is that when blocking a physical attack, blinds and weakens your attacker. This move pairs really well together with Paladin's um, aggravation skill of Holy Crash, which makes it so they're guaranteed to inflict blind and weaken on your attacker since they're attacking you. Next we have Mucilage, now Mucilage puts a slimy coating on either you or an ally, which reduces incoming damage to 1 damage. How I would use this skill is if my ally was low in HP, or if the Saint doesn't have a heal up yet and your ally has cursed on them, then you can proc the Mucilage, and when they do self carry, they only take 1 damage. Next we have Damios, now Damios, you usually go Saint, but you can also run this with Paladin as you have a structure, which is a healing effect for either you or an ally on combat. And also you have Mulligan Realm, which is a team buff for HP regen and the Mulligan buff too. Now it's only here because it has another HP healing move, which could be good during battle. Next we have Kovalis, which Kovalis has Cast Amplify, which can basically increase your elemental damage by 30% and also reduces the energy cost of attacks with 4 or less energy by 1. Then it also has Arcane Ritual, which on cast can boost outgoing and incoming healing and has a 40% chance to boost all elemental damage by 40%. Now some cool moves that Kovalis has is Holy Affinity, which buffs Holy Damage by 20%, which can be good with Paladin as with the Holy Crash, but you're not doing damage as a Paladin, so it won't really matter that much. Next we have Energy Affinity, which has a chance to gain double energy, which getting more energy is just better in general. Now you may be asking, why is Kovalis good for Paladin? Now as a Paladin, your main job is to buff your team with defense and offensive buffs, and with Cast Amplify and Arcane Ritual, this does the trick. Lastly, we have Dullahan. Now, Dullahan is just him. With Ghost Flame and Life Lift Skull, proccing that Ghost Flame onto the enemy, that can do a lot of damage and makes it where you can run Dullahan with any build you want. So, with Paladin, yes, you can run Dullahan. Okay, now we have equipment. Now, with equipment, you either want to run Jade, Ice Wind, or Dark Blood. Now, with Jade, that increases your HP regen during the battle. And Ice Wind, that has a chance to apply the cold debuff, which delays the enemy's attacks. And Dark Blood, which passively shares debuffs inflicted by the enemy to them. Okay, for shields, you either want to run Slime, Dragon Flame, or Ice Wind. With Slime, when blocking a physical attack, gives the attacker 2 weakness and 1 blindness or Dragon Flame which has thorns and when blocking an attack inflicts a portion of the damage back at the enemy or you can run Ice Wind which inflicts the cold debuff onto the enemy when blocking. Okay for enchants I would recommend going Frost, Cursed or I hate to say it too, Life Song but only go for Life Song if you have no life or you're going Damios. Now for Frost right it basically doubles the chance to apply Chilled with a paired with a Frost weapon so only get the Frost enchant if you have the Frost Wind Sword uh, for Cursed, it basically has a small chance to apply random defects onto the enemy when upon hitting them, which is similar to Dangerous Mixture, but it's not guaranteed every time. And then Life Song, which is basically upon hitting the enemy, there's a chance that the Life Song will proc and provide you with a temporarily 3 turn buff to the user, which increases outgoing and incoming healing by 20%. Again, only get Life Song if you're running Damios. <laughs> Okay, for stats, you're going to want to go into All Endurance, and for me, I ended with about almost 490 HP. For your artifact, either go Dark Sigils or Chaos Orb, but the Chaos Orb is better, and I'll show why later. For your ring, always go Blessed Ring of Blight, and you also want to go for a Blessed Vitality plus 2 for either the ear and a necklace, and for the other piece, you can either go Aggravation plus 2, or you can go for a Mending plus 2. I would recommend Mending plus 2. But I don't go Mending because I believe that you heal a lot already with a Paladin build with the class tree abilities and with Aggravation you can target the enemies to have you go and hit you more which then you can proc your 
learn some abilities. Okay, in this clip here, you can see that with the Lentum passive, I'm inflicting debuffs onto the enemies when blocking. And with the Chaos Orb, it has a small chance to inflict another debuff when you inflict one debuff, and which can stack with the Lentum ability, which can be pretty broken with the Paladin's aggravation skill of Holy Crash, which then you're just inflicting a lot of debuffs and where I inflicted the Ghost Wind debuff onto the swords. Okay, now for mastery, come talk to your trainer to see your class tree, and one of the first abilities you can get is the Holy Shield. Now the Holy Shield, what it does is that when blocking an attack, it now heals you for some of your HP, which can be pretty good when you get really low, and with the aggravation skill of Holy Crash, you can just keep blocking and heal your HP more and more, which is also why I don't think you need the Mending Ring, as you already heal a lot, but you could heal more with it. Next. We have High Endurance, which basically went below 30% HP, you gain a 30% damage reduction, which can be pretty good whenever you do get low in those type of situations. Finally, we have Pure Resonation Proficiency, which basically just does that when you use a skill, it now gives all the allies resistance and slightly more re regeneration, which can be, which is honestly really really good, giving free resistance, that's pretty strong. So basically, you want to go for all the way down the middle and the first one to the left and you don't need to go to the right side as the endurance path kind of sucks, doesn't really benefit the whole team in any way, so just stick with the middle path and the first to the left. Okay, for build in action, I'm just showing a really quick clip and it's at like at 100x speed because it'll be way too long if I put this in the video. And it's also kind of boring watching the Paladin play passively for the whole game. But if you see in just a quick moment, you'll see what I got from Metrum's Vessel, which is honestly pretty cool. Also, huge shout out to Misclix. Uh, he gave me some loot so it can help me make my next build. And yeah, you guys will see it pretty soon. Okay, thank you for watching this video. And if you want more content like this, where you get the best arcane lineage guides, then please subscribe and like the video. If we get 150 subs, I will make another video. These videos take a lot of work and a lot of editing and time and effort are put into them. So please subscribe, it would help me out a lot. And um, thank you for watching.